Welcome back. So we're going to be trying a new tire uh, product here. This is from Jess Car. It's called Tire and Trim Protectant. And it says right here, protects and seals tires and rubber trim, leaving a rich, stark appearance. Polymer technology for long-lasting protection against contamination and harmful UV rays. Water-based cream applies easily on all rubber, plastic, vinyl, and metal parts. So pretty much application straightforward. Shake bottle well before use. Clean the surface and, tr and dry completely before use. Apply a small amount to a ap foam applicator. Run applicator over areas to protect and beautify. On porous surfaces such as tires and rubber, trim, apply, and let dry without buffing. For additional gloss, wait 20 minutes and apply an additional coat. On harder surfaces like wheels and chrome, let dry for two minutes and then buff with a clean dry microfiber towel. So, um, like the American Detailer Garage Unity, uh, this one contains a polymer in there to aid with durability. So I'm gonna grab my chair here. Hopefully it's still enough light out here to see this. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay, so tires were clean with Adam's rub tire rubber cleaner and then just dried. Actually, let me grab this little tire wheel towel here before I get started because there is water into the tread here. Okay, so we need to shake this up. I'm using a tough shine applicator, just car right on the side. This thing have a seal on this thing. It sure does. Okay, let's crack open that seal. Okay, so just like that Unity, it's like a lotion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread that into the applicator. And we'll just apply it. I'll have to give you the daylight appearance to uh, the following day, but okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and make a 50-50 line right there. Again, I'm losing daylight here. I'm just working this in the rubber. So I'm going to take this off the head strap here, and um, that's the appearance that you're going to get, at least initial appearance there. Let that pan out. You can see it's going to give a nice uh, look here once it dries. So after 20 minutes, it will turn into a satin-like appearance. I've seen videos of this. It's not overly glossy or anything like that. Um, so that's what you're going to get. A nice black tire right now it's um, still too wet I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my head here and I'll finish off this tire here put a little bit more on here okay just mix it on the applicator just work it in Not overly complicated to use this product here. I know some people, I read some reviews where people were saying it's hard to use. It's not hard to use. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this applicator and just shove it into the inner tread there. And so I'll have to give you the appearance of this tomorrow, but right now in this light it looks good i mean it just looks like a black tire just like the american detail garage unity so i'm going to bring you up closer one more time and at least from here you can see the finish it looks good and then once it dries um, it will be dry to the touch so i'm just let it set up for 20 minutes do one layer if you want a, um, a little extra gloss uh, go ahead and add a second layer just get some of this it's in the lettering there. 
and yeah just work it in let it dry if you have any excess product I have to move the car back a bit or forward if you have any excess product just go ahead and come back with a towel and lightly buff but um, I don't have any excess product in the tread because I applied it to these, this uh, surface first and then worked it in like that so uh, that's Jess car I'll give you a look of this the following day and if you see any spots like you missed like I missed down here I'll just go ahead and work the product in and if your tire is pretty dry it's going to absorb that into the tire so just kind of just work it in pretty straightforward stuff so uh, that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and finish the other four and uh, sorry for it being a bit dark all right so and then we'll post up updates on this tire dressing um, you know for the next couple of weeks see how long it lasts i expect it's going to last about four weeks before it uh, needs to be reapplied and we'll take a look at the hydrophobics and all that good stuff all right so stay tuned for the follow-up all right welcome back so i want to give, give you an idea of what the jess car tire protectant looks like in actual daylight and so it actually looks if I come closer here it actually has a real nice finish just nice satin black uh, appearance to it so if you like that look this is what you're going to get with it if you want to do a second layer you're probably not going to get that much extra gloss out of this I've seen this product try to be layered it just doesn't um, get overly glossy um, one thing I did have to do is I had to come back and clean up some of the product left in this in the tread here so I just kind of mopped this up here and one thing when I, when I was working with these other tires here is I actually had to um, cut the tire in like fours, divide it in fours uh, because when I was I was working, when I tried to do half the tire here it was, um, it wouldn't spread all the way so if I worked smaller sections here then the product did a, a better job because I was able to work it into the rubber and get a more even appearance. If I did half the tire I was left with some areas that didn't um, fill in with um, tire protectant like right here but overall it looks good you know it's dry to the touch right so i'm not picking anything up well i am now because my dad drove it uh today but uh yeah it's dry to the touch it looks good and uh, overall if you're looking for that satin type finish uh this is probably a tire dressing for you or the american detailer garage one uh, they're pretty equivalent so i just want to kind of just showcase that um so again thanks for watching